Hello and welcome to Office, home of this, that, and the other thing. What's in the box? Look, this time I remembered to blank out my name and address so there would be no more embarrassing picture in picture. Unless the video is getting boring, then I'll definitely put a picture in picture in there. Without further ado, my tenso box. Let's get into it. So the month of September was pretty crummy for me, and I decided that I would refresh my environment by getting rid of a lot of things. So I went through all the rooms in my house and threw things out or donated them or consigned them or sold them. So I had all this space and this pile of money, which I decided I should send to Japan in exchange for more stuff. Okay, so they have left me all my invoices, which I'm gonna just... Tenso hardly charges anything for this service. They received four or five different shipments for me, and to receive all of them, and repackage them, and ship them to me, which took no time at all, was $100, which I think is like super cheap given the service that they're actually performing. So the first thing in the box is the first thing that I bought, which was Halloween Rilakkuma. It's really cute. Usually I favor Ko Rilakkuma, but in this embodiment of Rilakkuma, I think that he has it down a little bit better than she does. He's got a cute little pointy witch hat. He has a bat on his butt, which is, you know, perfect. This little ghost onesie that he's wearing, I'm really curious. No, okay. So he is like a little cow. I don't know if you remember those, but they're like little blobs with cute faces. So he's like a little cow in here, and if you were to rip off his skin, he'd just be a little blob. So let's not do that. The next item is his brand. This is actually for Lydia. I did a group order for just me and her. That's a group, and I have more than one friend. I know I mentioned Lydia in my last video as well, but I do have other friends. There's Lydia, Lydia's cat, and the list goes on from there. Anyway, here's Gorilla Kuma. She has a square hat, so I didn't get her. I don't know, these are the lines that I draw in the sand. If, if you're gonna be dressed spooky, I need your hat to be pointy. She's got a, a bat on her bum as well, and the little little sack for collecting candy. Pretty perfect, I think. Next item. It's another Rilakkuma. He's in a little Odongo sleeping bag, and he's holding an Odongo, and yes, yes, he can be removed from the Odongo sleeping bag if you were interested in just having your little Rilakkuma. Oh, I could put things in him. I could put a soul in him. I don't think I will though, because that just sounds dangerous. You know, we're getting close to Halloween and he looks pretty cute, but there's another Odongo Rilakkuma, also for Lydia. We have a lot in common. This is also the next thing that I ordered to my Tenso. I needed to test my Tenso. I hadn't used it for Angelic Pretty for a while, so I ordered a few items in anticipation for a few of the releases that I thought might be a little bit messy. I wanted to make sure it had my shipping address, my payment information all set in there, and also I wanted to get some things. What do we got? Oh, the first item is a pair of long lace gloves. I thought they'd look really cute with Cinema Doll. My friend Roxanne wears lace gloves a lot and I'm always trying to steal my friend's style. Ta-ta! 
you've got a little detail at the top with a bow and a little pearl and the lace has lovely little polka dots on it hopefully they'll fit around my pipes these are a lot prettier than I had even anticipated. I really, really, really like these gloves. Sweet. That's all I can say. Like, yes, this is what I wanted. Cool. Next is another pair of lace gloves, but these ones are just ankle gloves for when I'm wearing long sleeves. These also have lace up at the top and a bow. But what I think is super cool is down on the ring finger, they have a little bow and a little charm. These are really nice. They're, they're nice and loose fitting and that little ring charm I think is charming. <laughs> nice, nice. Next item is a little head bow. I thought it would be really cute to wear with my sweet girl's room OP because it's the lavender one, but they've got this really nice black mesh over it, so it still adheres to my kind of dark color palette requirements, which you'll soon see tossed out the window, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Nice, mm-hmm. It's a bow for the head. It's what it said it'd be, and that's what it is. It's a head bow. Yeah, hopefully that'll go nicely with the OP I have in mind because I really don't own anything else with lavender in it yet. What else? Oh! Look at the egg. Oop. <laughs> a bag. I also received some tights from the Dolly Dot series. I'm really surprised at how barely visible the um, print is on these. It showed them as black and gray on the website and I mean that that is black and gray but it's just barely visible. I thought it would be a little bit lighter gray again so I could wear, I mean I can still wear these with cinnamon doll but I just thought the gray would be a little bit more popping. Hmm. Oh wow. Next item. In case you haven't noticed the theme, it's stuff to wear with Cinema Doll. They recently released some jewelry, and I thought that the bracelet was really cute. So I got myself the bracelet. Oh, the. Oh, I'm into. I ordered this with my third order. Um, yes, my third order in one month. I really did liquidate though, like, I, I sold so much stuff. I mean, I guess a responsible adult would have taken that money and put it into their tax-free savings account or their RSP. And I do that, but sometimes I just wanna shop, so that's what happened. Here it is, it's a nice bracelet. Got some pearls and bows, and a little dongle that's a bow, and one of the pearls says AP. Oops, you can't see that. Do, 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 do. You still can't see it. Just trust me, that's what it says. I got a beret. I really like wearing berets, um, but I have really, really fine, thin, silky hair, so it's really hard to keep them on my head. I also have a really narrow head. But Angelic Pretty Berets have these useful little combs built into them that apparently help you keep it on your head. So here is the Dolly Dot Beret. Dolly Dot? It's something like that. Um, Hey, maybe it'll go with Cinema Doll. It has this really nice netting on top and the little bows and the little pearls. And there's a big bow on the front that's looking a little frump. Oh, it's got wire inside. 
so I can defrump it when I have time. That's nice. I really appreciate when they do stuff like that. Okay, let's see how it goes. Let's see how this hat hats. Is this it? Is this? Oh yeah, I mean it is definitely a beret. It's what they said it would be. It's quite cute. I'm just worried there aren't enough bows on it, you know? Like, what are there, six? The next item is my big item that I was looking forward to so much, and I'm so excited. It's Cirque du Toile, the OP, and it's, yup, it's doing it for me. Oh, it's glorious. It's really, really excellent. Way, way nicer in person than it is in the photos, and I think it looks perfect in the photos. So, just try to imagine how stoked I must be. The epaulettes are removable. I don't know why you would take them off. They're perfect. They're everything you want on your shoulders and more, but that option is available to you. Beautiful little cuffies, lacing. It's hard for me to describe this dress because there is just so much detail. Sweet, beautiful collar. And now we can get down to the print. This to me is a circus print. It's just so cheerful and exciting and I can't wait to put it on. So BRB. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't see you there. I'm just hanging out in my dress. No big deal, except it is a huge deal because it's fantastic. I'm really into it. It's quite comfortable and it's actually cut quite nicely too. It's a little snug because I do have broad shoulders, but usually when I wear this style of dress, I try not to do much moving anyway. I'm thrilled with the print and the fabric and how it looks and it really is just living up to my expectations right now. As you can see, there's some lovely fringy bits along the hem and then up to the print. We've got two horses having what I can only assume is a very important conversation about conditioner. Just some gratuitous print shots now. Glorious, glorious, pretty, pretty darn glorious. It's a very nice length. I'm 5'6 and I'm wearing heels. And it's coming up to, you know, past fingertips or however you want to rate it. Whatever that means. However appropriate that makes it, that's how appropriate it is. As you can see, I've taken off the front bow. And I've also removed the waist ties. Just seems to be what I always do. I think it's looking pretty darn good. Yeah. Alright, let's see what's next. I did not order this. Did I get a bonus item for ordering a lot? Would they do that for me? I definitely didn't order this. I mean, it's 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 just from their Halloween fair. I wonder if it's the time that I ordered it. In any event, it's a really cute little choker with a little little cross on it. And I usually don't go in for religious symbols. But when it's done tastefully like this, I think that's really fine. Oh, and there's a little star. That's really cute. What a pleasant surprise. I'm very happy. Cool. And it came with this really nice pouch. Super cool. It totally makes up for the fact that the socks look a little bit more gray on the website. Mm. Final item. This is the Elegant Army Doll OP. 
and it is doing it for me as well. Originally, my friend Kelly linked me to this dress. There was a promo photo of it in red, and I thought it was so nice and so cool. And people were making fun of it because they say you look like a bellhop, but I'm 100% fine with that. I mean, personally, I think it's a little bit more piratey than bellhoppy, but like, have you seen Grand Budapest Hotel? Zero marries a beautiful Irish woman who bakes pastries. Like, that's what I want to base my life goals on. What did Zero do? He worked hard as a lobby boy. And that's what I'm going to do in this dress. Oh. These are not removable. They are important to the dress, though. I wouldn't take them off. Beautiful sleeveys. Detachable bow, little star buttons up on the collar here, and of course buttons going down the front. Some layers of ruffles, I believe is the technical term for that type of thing. Oh, so washed out. Sorry lighting. Wow. So the waist ties in the back, which I might end up removing, we'll see. They, they've lined these ones, but waist ties still have a habit of driving me bonkers. And then your cute little coattails in the back. More fruffles underneath. Let's just try it on. Ooh, what's up? Casual. It's a little bit piratey, isn't it? The sleeves are a wee bit short, but I've just kind of tugged them up on my arms so it looks like I've done it on purpose. Pretty stoked with this one too, not gonna lie. It's quite comfortable. It's a little bit looser than the other one is, which is nice, but it's also a little bit shorter. It's gotten so you can see me, but yeah, it comes up a little bit higher, but I think it's fine. I could wear an underskirt if I felt like it, but I might not feel like it. So I left the little bow on and I've got this all tied up back here. I think it's pretty darn cute. So there are some definite knees showing with this one. You can see my bare legs. Oh, so good, so clever. Oh my goodness. I am very happy with what transpired here tonight. I love everything that I got. I'm even seeing these tights through a rose-colored lens. I mean, so what if they're not as gray as I thought they were? I can't tell them how to live their lives. It's up to them to be who they want to be, not me to tell them who to be. Mwah. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope my next video will be a video of my trip to Japan with Jackie. I don't have any plans on spending any more money anytime soon because I'm out of it. So yeah, I'll be pulling up some old footage and putting that out there, counting my pennies for the time being. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.